Good morning. Today, we are drawing birds. Yeah, we're drawing some birds. And it's going to be very simple, step by step. They're going to be kind of cartoon birds, but we want to make them look a little bit by like real birds too. So when we get done, you'll have a blue jay, a robin, cardinal, and the mystery bird. The fourth one is the mystery bird. I say it's a mystery bird because you're going to pick what kind of bird you want yours to be. Uh, and I'll explain how that's going to work after we draw some birds. Okay? So the first thing you want to do is take a piece of paper. It can have lines on it. It doesn't matter. Okay? We are folding it in half like this. Not into quarters, but into halves. Because we are going to have four birds. We're going to have one up here, one up here, one over here, and then the mystery bird. Okay? So, I'm going to walk you through how to draw these birds. Okay. Boop, boop, ba doop. First thing I want to do is I want to draw a circle. And I want to leave enough room so I can put a beak and maybe some crazy hairs up there. Okay, so that's all I got to do is just draw that circle. So you should be drawing it as well as we'd go, you know, there. Next thing I'm doing is I'm going to make a body, which is going to be a larger oval. It's going to be attached to my head. Okay, see how I got that? All right, so it's like a, all right. Now, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give him an eye and I'm going to give him an eye with a pupil okay so see how he's looking and somebody asked me well why does he only have one eye because this bird is walking this way so we can only see one eye that's why he's when we put his feet on he's going to be sideways okay so get your eye in there okay staying on the head I am going to draw two triangles, okay? Now, this is his beak. So you got one triangle, come down, two triangles. So that looks like his mouth is open, okay? Very simple shapes using just, we're just going to be using circles, ovals, rectangles, triangles. So there's his mouth. Okay, now, for his wing, it's just going to be a U inside, okay? And you want to leave this open because it's attached to his body, okay? So, there's his wing. Now, the tail is really cool, too. You're going to start just two lines like that, one going down a little bit, one going up, okay? And then we want to either, you can go like that, make some squigglies, show his tail feathers. Um, let me look for my other bird I made this morning. You could just do, you know, three ends, okay? So that's what you got so far, all right? Now, legs. We're not going to, you know, it's a car cartoony looking bird. So I'm just going to come down and I'm going to make two rectangles and I wanted... Uh, those are sad looking legs, I know. Uh, let me show you some other legs. Okay, see, it's a rectangle with like, it kind of looks like a letter what? D, kind of looks like a D, okay? 
All right, so now this is what I have. But I want to give it some, you know, more personality. So I'm just going to draw some little lines here and here so that it looks like, you know, he's got some little claws and he's got some little wing, you know, you can see the, the feathers, how they split. And then I am going to... My, okay, those are my dogs. They're out there. They're playing. So ignore them, please. Uh, and then I gave him some little hairs sticking up, okay? So that's my first bird. This is going to be a blue jay, okay? So you might want to write that down underneath your bird, okay? And then this is mine that's finished. Blue jay. B L U. E, J, A, Y, Blue J, okay? Now, what you can do if you have access to a phone, you can go to Google Images and look at what a Blue J looks like because they're blue. Um, if you want to make it like really, really look more real, that's what I would do, okay? So there's my little Blue J. He's done. He's got little yellow legs. Da -da -da. He's cute. Okay, so... Will you color him on, on your own time? I'm just walking you through the drawings. Okay, so that's the blue jay. Now I'm going to the robin. Again, this is going to be okay, two circles. Feel free to pause as needed so you can draw this with me. Mm, gave him an eyeball and two triangles. Notice the triangles come together. Bink, bink. Okay. Now I'm going to do his wing and tail. Again, it's... It's a, it's a U, and okay. See the open U. That's going to be his wing. That's the beginning of his tail. And then this one, I'm just going to do. I'm going to do the end tail on this one. And you're going, what's the end tail? Well, it's like just a bunch of little waves that look like ends, lowercase ends attached. Okay. Since this is a robin, and if you know what a robin looks like, let me show you my robin here. They have a little orange thing. Okay. So we want to make sure we include that. So I'm taking my crayon and I am going to make a little arc there, okay, so that I can color this in orange later. And then I've got my... legs which again my legs aren't the best okay then some feathers give him a couple hairs okay some claws and there he is okay now what you can do is, like I said, go to Google Images, look up the robin. I'm going to write his name underneath here. R-O-B-I-N. The robin. And when I Googled it, I saw some pictures, and the robin's pretty much black with the orange, okay, and the yellow, or you can make them brown, legs, and beak, okay? So that's the robin. Last one. Well, not the last one. The 
Next one is the cardinal. The cardinal is Ohio State bird. So, you know, we all should know what a cardinal looks like. It's red. So if you're sitting around the house playing games all day, you need to get outside and look at some birds and get some fresh air. Because just because you got COVID, put your little mask on and sit out on your steps and look around, see what's going on, see if you can see any birds. Okay, so this one is going to be a cardinal. All right, drawing again the head and the circular body. Going to make my beak and my eye. Beak and eye. The U for the wing. Again, feel free to pause as needed to do your bird. Okay, there's his little wing. There's his tail. Make my rectangle leg. This guy's walking, so he's going to be like this. Okay, so there he is. Now, we're making a male robin. Or I'm sorry, we're making a male cardinal. Male and female cardinals <clears throat> look very different. The male birds are uh, often brighter colors and sometimes even a different color. Um, the male cardinal is probably one you see a lot. It's bright red with black. He wants to stand out so he can attract female cardinals, okay? So they make him bigger and brighter so that the girls will notice him. True story. So he's got a little... Black around his face. Okay. So here's your male cardinal. Okay. He's got just like a little black around his face. Now his his beak is orangish and his legs are, are orangish. Okay. And then his body is a bright red. I just colored this in quickly for you. Again, Google cardinal. Look at some of the pictures of the cardinals. And then color him so that he looks just like a cardinal, okay? And then you're going to write cardinal underneath C-A-R-D-I-N-A-L. And now to the best bird yet, the mystery bird. Okay, again, we draw our circle. Okay, I don't... I'm going to do this one more time. Okay. Circle. Body. Oh, that one's looking a little sad. Circle, body. Beak. Beak. Eye. Okay. This one kind of looks like he's flying, maybe. Um, okay. Next, okay, my bird's flying. If you don't like the flying bird, you can make another bird that looks like this, okay? Or this, okay? By following the previous instructions. The reason this is the mystery bird. Because you're going to go online, you're going to Google birds, images, and you're going to find a bird that you think is really beautiful. So that's, you know, maybe you like parakeets or maybe, you know, but I want it to be an actual bird. I don't want you just to make me a striped bird that's out of your mind, although I do like your creativity. This one I would like to look like a breed of a bird, okay? Okay. So you will write the name of your mystery bird down here. And when I say main name, I mean like it's a parrot, it's a parakeet, it's a finch, it's a hummingbird, it's a uh, brown warbler. Whatever you're going to be coloring it to look like, 
I need the name of the bird down here so I can see it. Okay, that's why it's the mystery bird. It's your choice. Then you color him in so that he looks like that species. Okay, so I'm excited to see what you come up with, my friends. So you will have four um, birds for me next week. And for some reason, uh, if you're not in class, you need to take pictures of them and email them to me through Schoology. Um, so that's it. Four birds. One's a robin. One's definitely a blue jay. One's definitely a male cardinal. And the fourth, mystery bird. Okay. Thanks. See you guys next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.